Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a video on something called Tron. Tron is a little script uh, that I use at work now a lot. Um, you can find it. It's actually posted on Reddit, and I'll put the link in the description of the video. Um, what Tron does, it, it basically it comes with a ton of tools and just automates them all. So... If somebody brings me a computer and just basically says, oh, this thing is just messed up and I have no idea what's going on. Well, I don't really have any idea what's going on and maybe I'm too busy. So I can run Tron and Tron will go through a number of different stages um, using a number of free programs and really kind of do a hell of a job cleaning it up and uh, getting it ready for me to do the final checkout. So, um, so here are the stages of Tron. You've got stage one, which is prep. It does R kill, process killer, TDSS killer, uh, registry backup, WMI repair, all kinds of stuff. You can, you can. When I put this uh, link in the description, you can read all about it. It does a temp clean, cleans up temp files, a deep load, gets rid of just crap software, uh, disinfect with a ton of different uh, utilities. It checks for patches, uh, optimizes. Uh, new stage here, I just, I'm not familiar with it, it does a lot of wrap up, uh, it emails uh, like a report. Um, and then manual stuff is big because these are all the things that can't be automated, so you've got combo fix, ADW cleaner, um, I've never used that, <laughs> auto runs, etc. Those are in another folder. So um, it's best that you run Tron in uh, safe mode. So I'm going to go ahead and download it here. If you look further down on this post, you can see the links. And let's just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, positive that this is the latest version, um, but for the purpose of this demo, I think this is fine. So we'll save it. It's kind of large, five something, five hundred and something megabytes. Um, let's see what else. I have a new virtual machine, completely hosed up and infected, and it's got lots of adware and it's just a mess. Uh, so we're going to run Tron on it. I should also mention that Tron can take hours to run on some computers, days. Uh, it's it's a long process. Um, on this computer, this computer is pretty fast. I'm not sure how long it's going to take running in the virtual machine, but we'll find out. So uh, I'm going to pause the video while this is downloading. Okay, I'm back. Um, that took a little while to download for some reason, so it's here on my desktop, so I'm just going to go ahead and move it into this virtual machine that has a ton of this Chinese, um, I don't even know if it's malware, but it's just annoying. Alright, so let's go ahead and go full screen. I'm talking a little quiet just because um, my wife decided to come downstairs and like fall asleep while I was doing this so oh well so I copied it and let's go ahead and try to extract it so it's going to extract to a Tron folder here and like I said uh, Tron needs to um, well it likes to be run in safe mode so uh, let's see I'm in Windows 8 so trying to press that. It's not happening. Hold on a second. I want to get to a run shell here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go to MS config. <laughs> Man, this computer is just wildly messed up right now. Um, and we are going to boot into safe boot um, on our next reboot. I don't know what this thing is, but it's really annoying. All right, so there's Tron. All right, let's go ahead and reboot into safe boot. Restart now.
So this would be like the first one of my like corporate type videos where you know it's just kind of a tool that a normal home user wouldn't really use. I mean you could, but um, this is more this is like geared towards people like me who support like a um, you know twenty thirty computers about that range. But I support around you know I would say two hundred fifty servers. So I get kind of busy during the day, and Tron is just awesome for like allowing me just to say, okay, I'll run this app on this to on this computer, and it'll run everything I normally run manually, um, but for me. So that's why I, I love this little free app, or batch file script, whatever you want to call it. You know, the odd thing is, is I rarely ever, ever, ever start Windows 8 in safe mode, so um, I can't even tell you the last time I did. I hope, hope this is it. We kind of avoided Windows 8 at work, and we're just going to uh, Windows 10. So I got a little, I just downloaded, yeah, cool, all right. I just downloaded Windows 10, like the preview edition, so I'm going to do a video on my Mm, top three or four features that I like about it. So, just thought that you let you guys know. Uh, also, another announcement. Um, quick announcement here. Um, videos will be like on Saturday. Today's Sunday. I had some audio problems yesterday, so let's just say Saturday, Sunday. Um, and then I am doing some gaming videos for my friends in St. Louis. If anyone wants to watch, they can. But it's not really meant for like a huge crowd they're not like they're not exactly produced really well or anything it's just for a few buddies at work and a few of my friends from college and stuff just to show them what i'm playing and what i want them to buy so <laughs> that's what that's about anyway here's tron let's go ahead and open him up and we will just right click and run as administrator okay gives you a big annoying disclaimer and that's what it is right there annoying disclaimer and you type, I agree, all caps. And we'll press any key to continue. You can see what it's going to do here. Here's all the stages. This is the tools it's going to use. And we'll hit continue. Oh, shit. I rebooted it. I went into safe mode without networking so hang on a second okay sorry about that so I'm in safe mode safe mode with uh, networking now and I will show you how I did that really quick in case you're curious I just went to MS config again and under boot do safe boot with network so that's how anyway um let's go into Tron Uh, it says a newer version is available. You know, like I said, for this video, I don't really care. You can get it for. Well, you know what? Maybe I should do this. So if I highlight that URL, I hit that. Let's try to see if we can get to there. Okay, so there's 4.6.0 out. So we'll try that and save it. And I'll let it download. Um, I'll try to pause the video. <laughs> Obviously F9 didn't work. Okay, I have the latest version now, so I'll type in I agree. I agree. And we'll press any key to continue. And that's it. It'll start off doing, you know, going through stage one through six, um, and then like stages um, seven are like manual things that you would run manually. Um, anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this as part one because I don't know if this will finish tonight, and I don't want to say I was going to upload a video on Saturday. It's now Sunday, and you guys have to wait till Monday to see anything. So I want to get something up now. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys for part two. Uh, as soon as this finishes.